Hey, so this is our house. We're fully moved in now. The sun is actually just setting right now. But this is exactly what our house looks like. Um, as you come through the front door, Hi. you get Daisy and our two cats. But we come directly into our living room with some furniture pieces that people may recognize and the couch and Daisy's massive Eiffel Tower but um, yeah this is our only carpeted area in the house right now what we've done is we've mounted the TV on one side of a room like catty cornered and we've got a soundbar that's going to be going underneath this and all the wires will be hidden inside the wall but this piece of carpet here we are looking at replacing because it kind of uh, stinks like the last owner. Um, as you come this way from either the front door or through our living room, we come into the kitchen. We are starting to paint it right now. So this is kind of a light gray. And then all of the upper cabinets here are going to be a nice white. And then we've just had our advisor come through just to see what we can actually do with that oven and microwave. It Even though they're original antiques to the house. <laughs> they are original antiques to the house from 84 Four. by Sir Colonel Mustard when he built the house. <laughs> um, but no, we're going to go with a light grey with gold. Uh, gold. What are those? handles and stuff and then all white uppers and we're potentially going to do KitchenAid a double electric oven in here and then just a counter microwave or we'll just do a single oven with a little bit of a gap right there and then a built-in microwave uh, we've got the cooktop right here this did used to be a huge overhang but we've removed that I will patch that up because it's an electric oven, we're not really going to be using a vent. So as we go from our kitchen, we've got our dining room. And then back here into our... This is kind of our games room. So we've got a couch set up. Then we've got Daisy's computer set up, my computer set up. I was kind of um, looking at putting a TV up there, but the one that we have is way too big. It'd literally be touching the roof right there and then coming on like all the way down to the computers so yeah it's way too big to put up there in our backyard we've kind of got a huge overhang here with our pool table and then a nice backyard so this overhang here is gonna be perfect we've got seating back there for like a six seated table um, and then we're looking at moving this palm tree, putting in a fire pit, and then doing seating around that. Hopefully in the future we can do like a one bedroom little nanny flat out there. And then we got all of this backyard. It goes the whole length of the house down there as well. Uh, through that window all the way down to a front yard it is all kind of owls. And then up here we've got all these oak trees. And yeah, let's go quickly take a look at the bedrooms. So back in our hallway, we've got our front door right here. We've got the living room right there. We come down to the guest bathroom. That one there is the guest bedroom right here. And then this is going to be the baby's room. So Daisy is going to have our little baby. And it's going to be in this room right here. That's the bed. So we're pretty much sorted for a baby to move in. And then we have our master bedroom right here. Where it's a nice big room. Um, again, TV's just a little too big for the area. But we are good. We have a walk-in closet right here. And then on this side, we have our bathroom. Ideally, this bathroom here, the shower is quite small we want to put it against this wall so it'll be the whole length of the wall hopefully ideally in the best world it'll be a head coming down there and a head coming down that way for a nice shower move the toilet into that corner and then 
sink can stay but then we'll close up this wall and kind of put a door on it or one of those like barn door sliders ideally all right that's pretty much our house